Today we're going to talk about the IFM transducer gauge for measuring different water levels uh, out of the box. We need to make a couple different adjustments before you're able to use it. You need to set it up for your specific application and this video is going to show you a little how to do that. When connecting the cable, do note that it is a keyed cable. It will only go in one direction. It will only lock in in the correct way and then screw this down. Right out of the box, everything is in default settings and the pressure reading is in bars. Uh, most people are going to want to turn this over to a PSI reading before continuing. So uh, we're going to do that. We're also going to set the dampening level. The dampening level is the amount of smoothing that this adds to the readings. Maybe the water system or your pressure reading, your process reading, may jump around a little due to natural process and you may not want all of these this noise in here so we can set the dampening level to smooth that out we're going to do that and then finish up with the set points first off with this they do not have physical buttons there's a mode enter button and a set button but they're not physically press buttons this is an optical button it's operated by light versus no light when it's open, it's getting light. When you press the button, you want to cover the optical window entirely to simulate darkness. That's how you press this button. On the mode right here, we can cycle through different settings. There's standard menu settings, and then it rotates around. We're gonna change the units in the extended function menu. This is at the end of the standard menu. Units. It's currently in bar. Press and hold set to change the units. You'll now see we're in PSI. Press the enter button. We are now in PSI. We also need to change the dampening of this. That is also in the advanced function, the extended functions. This is the dampening for the pressure gauge, meaning the needle here. You can apply dampening to this or only to the analog output. When controlling your system, it's going to be based on the analog output coming from this module, less this. So our, let's go back in to extended functions. Dampening for the pressure gauge. Dampening for the analog output. This is what we're interested in. We'll press set. This is how many seconds of data it averages together. This could differ based on your system and what kind of natural responses you're looking at. Generally, it's good to set this number around at least a second, maybe three seconds. I think we're limited to a maximum of it's either 10 or 30 seconds. All right, we have set our units, we have set our dampening, and we can now proceed with standard set point setups, etc. All right, now we're going to talk about entering set points. Once the gauge has been set up already, you've put it in the proper units, you've also set your dampening if you would like, and you're now ready to enter your analog start point and your analog end point i.e. you're defining the range of the analog output based on some pressure sense input. This is also found in the extended function menu. Analog start point. This is the value at which you could consider the bottom of the tank or the 4 milliamp output of the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. This is the low end. 
Sometimes it will be zero. If it's on an elevated tank, this pressure is going to be the top of the standpipe, which is the bottom of the bowl. So this may be some value. We'll press and hold set to change this value. Now this value is in the units that the gauge is set at. So right now in PSI. say the bottom of our bottom of our range is 40 psi so we set that we then need to set the analog endpoint which by default is the maximum of the gauge but we can change this as well enter when you're done so like that we have set the analog start point to 40 PSI, meaning this transducer will output 4 milliamps at 40 PSI. Go back in and check. Analog start point, we've set to 40 PSI. The end point, we've set to 80 PSI. This gauge will now output a 4 to 20 milliamp signal based on the scaling between 40 and 80 PSI. This may correspond to the level of a tank or a specific process control of interest.